Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Joe Mauer. The first number I wore on my back is now being hung alongside the very players I pretended to be as a child. Those men are some of the best who have played this game, and to say it's an honor to have my number next to theirs would be an understatement. The number seven signifies greatness in Twins history, and now for all time will stand as a testament to what was accomplished in that jersey. The road to where you are now probably began with the game of catch with your dad. And it feels right that our celebration tonight should end the same way a game of catch with dad. Jake Odorizzi actually began the year 0-2 in his first three starts with a 6.35 ERA. But if you look at his season as a whole, he has the tied for the second best ERA in the major leagues. High fastball got him. And Mondesi succumbs to the high fastball one down. And the one-two swing and a miss he got him. Another high fastball again, 93. Soler, well he could do some major damage. He is so strong. The pitch to Soler. He swings and bangs it high and deep. And that's long gone. Oh my goodness. It got out of here right now. It's 2-0 Royals on Soler's 18th home run. Glenn Sparkman on the mound making just his fifth start, his 13th appearance. Looking for his second win. Outside corner, well located at 93 miles an hour, and that is a strikeout looking for Sparkman. The pitch. He tried to check his swing, but went on the breaking ball, and that's a strikeout. Maldonado picks it up, tosses it to first base, and Duda makes the catch. So three up, three down for Sparky. Rookie second baseman Nicky Lopez, who was 0 for 3 last night, and the 1 2 pitch. Inside corner, strike three call, good pitch at 94. So the Rizzi strikes out Lopez looking, and here's the pitch. He got a high fastball strike three. Hamilton is out number three, strikeout number four for Odorizzi. One for his last 13, 0 for his last 11. Sparkman deals. Rosario swings, laces it to left center field. Billy comes on and dives and makes a brilliant catch. Oh, what a play by Billy Hamilton. And two count on Gordon, two on nobody out, and the pitch, he got him. Strike three, a foul tip hung on to by Garver. And now the bases are loaded, so here comes Lucas Duda. Popped up. Infield fly rule should be called. And is. So Solaire's out. And that's a quick second out in the inning. Chesler Cuthbert will hit next. Playable infield behind second base. Scope is there on the dirt. He's got it. Odorizzi strands three. And the Royals do not add on board. The zone. Lopez to bet. Yeah, the pitch swung a miss came right after him. Cutter at 93. And a ground ball bunt. And it's going to be fielded and tagged out. Is Billy Hamilton just too hard of a bunt? Top of the order. Kepler will lead off. Driven to right. It's deep down the right field line and gone. Wow. Great swing by Max Kepler. Home run number 17. Two to one. There's a swing and a miss, and Cruz is down on strikes. He gets him with a fastball in 93. Jake Odorizzi against Whit Merrifield. Swung on and belted down the left field line into the corner, and that ball is gone. A home run by Whit Merrifield, number eight this year. And the Royals back in front by two at a score of three to one. First and third one down. The 0 1 pitch due to swings and smacks it to right center field. This will be deep enough as the catch is made by Kepler. Tagging is Mondesi. He will score easily, and the Royals are up four to one. Got him. They push a couple of runs across. They leave one through four and a half. The Twins get something going here, and here's Marvin Gonzalez. Driven to right. This one's back and gone. Number nine for Gonzalez, and it's four to three. To left center field. It is down for a hit. Andre Anzo will score the tying run. Twins have tied it up. 4-4. Four, four. The 3-2 pitch. Hit back to the mound. Sparkman has it. Tosses to due to covering. That will do it, but the damage has been done. And now here's Martin Maldonado to bat. Tamper, left side. All right, should turn it. One. Two double play. Just the third ground ball double play behind Odorizzi on the year, but it came at a good time. Came at a great time right there. Fly ball, short center field going out is Polanco. And Kepler, two hands it, puts it away. Nice job, Minnesota Twins. And they're at first and second with one out. CJ Crone. The pitch hit it left field, hit well. Gordon gets turned around. And he won't catch it. One hops off the wall. Rosario being waved around. He'll score with a go-ahead run. And the Twins now lead 5-4. 2-0 in the pitch to Scope. 
He'll swing and chop it to the left side. Cuthbert has it. He's going to come home with it. And they get him with a force at home play. Good play by Cuthbert. Left-handed hitter. Pulls it to right. Witt over toward the right field line. He's got it for the out. Good job by Scott Barlow. Minimizing the damage. Menifee Taylor Rogers looking for his eighth save on the season. He picked up his seventh in last night's ball game. And the 2-2 pitch is lifted to right shallow. Here comes Marwin. Slides and makes the catch. Gonzalez with a sliding grab to begin the ninth inning. Fly ball center field. Coming in is Kepler. Baseball is fun again in Minnesota.